All right, I'm gonna answer this man's question. Adam literally means red in the original Hebrew, so definitely not black. Sir, you are correct. Adam does mean red in the original Hebrew. And the word Adama means ground or red ground or red clay. So it's not this type of red that it's talking about. It ain't a strawberry red. It's talking about red like clay. Here's a tribal woman from Africa with red clay in her hair. Notice how the color of the red clay and her complexion looks almost identical. Here's another picture. Again, the red clay and the complexion looks almost the same. Again, as a reminder, Adam means red in Hebrew, red man. And Adama means ground, aka red ground. Put two and two together, red clay. Man being made from the dust of the ground or the red clay or clay is a common belief system throughout many civilizations, including the Bible. It makes perfect scientific sense that Adam and Eve had to be of a darker complexion. Because a couple who has melanin can produce babies with melanin, without melanin, etc. But not vice versa. Hope it cleared it up. Thank you. Is it possible that the first humans on Earth, Adam and Eve, could have been black with dark skin? Let me make something extra clear to those of you who don't have an understanding heart. The main reason I made that video was to show that God's word is true. And how all humans, no matter how different we look, can come from Adam and Eve. Because a lot of people judge too quickly and say, oh, why does it matter? Why does it matter? The only reason it matters is it proves God's word. I made this video for the unbelievers who have questions like, you know, if we all look so different, how can we all come from Adam and Eve? And I showed you in three parts how it's possible that we all come from Adam and Eve despite our differences in looks. All right, this verse is for the people who judge too quickly. Proverbs 18, 13. He that answereth a matter before he heareth, it is folly and shame unto him. If you're presented with information and you quickly make a judgment before examining that information, according to the Bible, it's foolish. If you already answer the matter before you hear it, it's shameful and it's foolish. So learn to have an understanding heart and learn to hear it out. God bless. Thank you.